Today I'm excited to share with you a flea market that I went to a couple weeks ago and I found some really amazing vintage. I know I'm still in the same outfit that I was in a few episodes back, but that's because today I am filming a couple intros. And so yes, I match my wallpaper. It was an accident. I put on this top thinking it looked really cute. And then I came upstairs and realized I matched my wallpaper. Jesse, Maya, and I went to the Farm Hill Market Days in Hillsboro, Oregon. And we found some really, really good stuff. And I even found something I had only come across one time in all my days picking. And it is the perfect thing to add to my collection. Lynn, this is amazing. Yeah, it really is. That'd be super pretty as like an island. Put a little piece of marble on top. And this opens, but this is a secret drawer. It's a secret drawer? Yeah, that's where you're supposed to hide your sterling. Oh, <laughs> the spoons go there. So there's no candles on it. Just like how this curves out. Yeah. Ooh, what did you say? <laughs> she raided some dude's closet? Well, it's the same. <laughs> Thing, over and over. Yeah. It's just my daughter does these and she only buys. Does she buy these individually? This isn't one estate? Oh, that's fantastic. This is a hipster dude's dream. <laughs> Look at you. Jesse spotted those big boys. I guess who's space we're in too. Whose space are we in? Oh my gosh, we're <laughs> we're in our own friend's space and we didn't even know it. This is Laura with Larkinsville Market and she obviously has amazing stuff. Always. Oh yeah, she partnered up with Side Door Vintage. This is gonna be fun. I already see a lot of things I like. Seated amber glass. 42. Really pretty. I like when it has the crackled glass like that, the bubbles. This is incredible. Do you know anything on the history of this? Uh, it's a Gorget uh, military. Uh, probably, I think it was Australian in their military dress. You know, wow. they put them around their neck. Uh, it's amazing. a double eagle, I think, that, if I remember right. Yeah, that's that's, that's very cool. cool. Well, I'm excited about these two. This one with the little birds is really neat. I love this lamp. I had a really similar one once and it was completely covered in dust. It took so long to clean. And then we turned it into a pendant swag lamp. They've got 58 on this with the shade. This is incredible. Is Isn't this yours? Incredible? It's incredible. It's straw embroidery. Straw. 
Oh really my amazing. goodness. Where was it made? Do you know? I believe here in America. Okay. And it's probably price on that is about two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. I mean, you don't ever see it. No, I've never, I've back. never seen anything like that. It's pretty phenomenal, and it fits high waist. Wow, it's a high waist skirt, you know. All right, Jesse, what on the shelf am I freaking out about? What am I freaking out about? What am I freaking out about? I'm freaking out about this. I was like, it's either <laughs> this or the. I'm freaking out about this because, oh. yep, because I have a decanter that goes with it, and now, and now I have two of the little cups instead of just one. How exciting. How much is it? $36. $36. Yeah, Restated PDX coming in for the win. They could have put $3,000 on it and they probably would have sold it to you. Not me. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> You're my husband. You know I don't have that kind of budget. Saying, they didn't know who was coming to this show. <laughs> Super excited. I never catch it on camera. Jesse just uh, pointed out that we had these coffee mugs. And then he goes, wait, didn't we have these glasses? And we did. This is like our the kitchen from six years ago. Design. <laughs> Queet. That's kind of cool. It looks like a fried egg. Oh, that looks like a Robert Maxwell, but it's not. Mm -hmm. A little hedgehog. What does it say? Doug. Doug? <laughs> Maya, Doug. will you grab that little horsey for me? Oh, My hands are oh cool. yeah. He's so cute. We're getting him. You know what the thing is? So cute. Every, we all say Frederick Weinberg style. I've never actually seen a Frederick Weinberg one. So maybe they that all rare. are his. And he just didn't sign anything? I don't know. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Where on earth did this come from? I don't know. It's some piece, of, some piece of folk art or something like uh -huh. that. Somebody carved. Yeah, it looks kind of like a giant's foot or something. Yeah, you know, know. It looks, like, looks like my foot. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have feet like that. How funny is that? I love oddities yeah, like that. I, know. <laughs> I think that was the alley behind his house. Oh yeah. You know that. I mean, that clothes is uh, is an alley. Right. They just named it after him, yeah. That's a knockoff. That has to it's be a new. Knockoff. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. It's H and M. Oh, don't get no, me excited is. for a split second. It's oh. H and M. Maya, that's a great dress. Sure. It's very you. Do you see a lady? I feel like this is her leg and like her thigh. Is that what? a lady? Is that like an abstract lady? I don't see any. Am I crazy? Jesse, do you see a lady? No. All right, there's not a no. lady. This is a piece of wood. <laughs> I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If your fall has been as jam-packed as ours has been, HelloFresh has you covered. HelloFresh has a weekly selection of over 30 recipes and over 70 convenience items delivered directly to your door. I love fall and it's always really fun to cook with the flavors of fall. The fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. Every HelloFresh recipe includes ripe, just-picked produce that travels from the farm to your door in less than a week. Now you can experience a harvest at home with HelloFresh's newest seasonal recipes. They are packed with the flavors of fall like scallops over butternut squash risotto or balsamic rosemary pork chops. I think my mouth just watered saying that. And HelloFresh is not just for dinners. Shop HelloFresh Market for quick breakfasts, wholesome snacks, and even desserts. You'll find everything to satisfy your cravings without stepping a foot in a grocery store or a mini mart. 
HelloFresh works with your schedule. Plans are flexible and you can change your meal preference, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. to HelloFresh.com and use the code LEFTCOAST65 for 65% off your order plus free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Through those. I get both. to dig through There's here. The both of them. I have them. You're speaking to my soul. I know, right? The diggy diggy. All right. Gorgeous. That. Buy me this. Buy you, you that? Yeah. I would love to buy you that, babe. Who wants that? Hey, All I'm yours. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. I'm so excited. Did you feel how the weight of I that? did. I did. He <laughs> told me to come buy a ring and look at it. It's oh my working. God, I love it. Susie, I have a question. Do you see an abstract lady? Is that, an, is that a lady? I see a lady, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a lady. I, I see a lady. Michelle, we found your outfit. Only you can pull this off. It was really fun shopping this flea market. It wasn't the largest flea market that I've been to, but it was so spread out and clean. And it was really nice to be able to actually go inside the spaces and shop without having to worry about knocking everything over. That is one of the things I love about these indoor flea markets is that you can actually move around the spaces because there's enough room. My Farm Hill Market Days haul is so good. I'm so happy with my finds from today. So this is a beautiful old wool textile and I really loved the pattern and the colors in it. I like picking up pieces this size because they're so multi-purpose. Something like this could be used on a table as a runner, but it could also be draped over the back of a chair or a couch for a beautiful accent. And then of course my favorite thing to do with these is to use them and display them on the wall. And the reason why is because to me, these are a piece of art, even with the perfect imperfections. I actually really love when pieces have been repaired because it shows the history and it shows you how old the piece is. A quality made piece out of quality made materials can last a lifetime and maybe it won't be perfect, but I like to say it's wabi-sabi, which means perfectly imperfect. And I was very excited to find this there at the market. I just have to jump straight to my favorite finds from the market. Now to a lot of people, these might just look like black and white striped pottery, but I am so excited about finding these because I have the matching piece to go with it. These are Raymore Italian pottery from probably the 60s or 70s. Okay and I absolutely love them. Okay, I'm gonna show you why I'm so excited. Because look, oh my gosh. So what's funny about this is I picked this up probably three years ago and I believe it's actually a bedside decanter. So this cup right here also works as a lid. It's perfectly on there. You do have to be careful. And you could have this by your bedside and pour a little drink of water at night. Now my cats are incredibly good at not breaking things, but I was too worried to actually have this by my bedside just in case the cat jumped up on the nightstand and knocked this over. So previously I had displayed this in my hutch, but it had been packed up since we moved from Vancouver, Washington in the spring of 2021. And I kid you not, this is the only time I had ever seen seen one of these in person before. I unpacked this only a few days before the Farm Hill Days Market 
in which I found the matching pieces. So I think that was meant to be, I was meant to find those and I'm very, very excited. Now I still have some work to do here in the back, so don't mind all of the scratches from when the shelves got installed. But I think that these are going to be the perfect accent here on our little shelves in our kitchen. We gotta have a real quick moment for these incredible Italian decanters. These are made in Florence, Italy, and I purchased these online. And look at it, they are incredible. Aren't they amazing? My heart skipped a beat when I saw them. So I actually made an offer, which was about 70% of the asking price since I was buying these to keep for myself and they accepted the offer. This is what I call upgrading because if you remember recently in a video, I found two Italian leather decanters that had lions on them and they just weren't quite right for our space, even though I really, really loved them. So what I did was after those sold, I used my profits from those to upgrade to the two that I really, really wanted and I'd been eyeing online for a long time. So it's always good to upgrade even if you are not a reseller that is the way to do it you can buy something if it holds value you can sell it later and upgrade to your dream pieces all right back to our other finds here from the farm hill days market i picked up these two necklaces this one right here was 39 dollars, and it's got beautiful sterling silver beads with these gorgeous little fetish birds and some little nuggets of turquoise and a mother of pearl bird pendant i thought that was a really reasonable price this is something that I would expect to retail for maybe around $80. And I would expect around the same for this sterling necklace. It's got these nice large turquoise nuggets and it's kind of neat because the colors actually change. Sometimes when turquoise is matched so perfectly, I actually don't love it. I'm sure that it's probably considered a higher end piece because it would be harder to match the exact color of turquoise, but I actually really love having a variety of colors, especially since so many of my pieces that I wear have different colors of turquoise in them. I love how wearing a ring like this would pull out the more blue turquoise. And then let's say you switch to a ring like this. Well, okay, that one's kind of similar. Let's say you switch to a ring like this and it might pull out some of the more green shades. Okay, fine, let's try that one. <laughs> how many rings did I get? I got some really good rings at this sale. This is by far the nicest one. This is a nice, heavy, sterling signed piece, and it's got beautiful, stunning, multicolored turquoise stones. I love when turquoise has this dark gold veining in it. It's so beautiful. There's just so much depth to these stones. Very high quality made piece. And I love the stamping on the side of this one. And it's got a horseshoe around the stone. So it's got this beautiful bezel set turquoise stone. But then look, there's a little horseshoe shoe around it. I thought that one was really fun. And this green color of turquoise is very rare and hard to find. Usually it means it's an older piece too. So that was a beautiful one. Then I got a couple more. I got this shadow box star ring right here. That's a really pretty one with a little snake eye stone in the center. And then this beautiful old heavy coral and turquoise ring. And I think that this is actually Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It has that very, very bright blue color to it. So pretty, so pretty. And this is what I love about natural stone. Look at all the variation you have here in these turquoise stones. I grew up in the stone industry and I sold granite and marble countertops for a decade. So I am kind of a nerd when it comes to rocks. And I loved this pendant. I like the shape on it and it's got four beautiful bright turquoise stones. You can put it on a necklace and it is signed. I actually haven't taken a second to look this artist up yet. I think that says I-U-L-E. Maybe it's Jewel, J-U-L-E. I got all of the rings and the pendant from Susie Lewis and she was wonderful and I didn't even ask and she gave me a really good discount. So shout out to Susie, thank you very much. They are all fabulous and I'm super excited to add them to my next collection. And I got this adorable little horse from Restated PDX and I love these Frederick Weinberg style Greek horses. They're super fun. I have a couple in my personal collection so I think I'm gonna be listing this one in my November sale. This art was a total score. I love original vintage art and I absolutely adore charcoal sketches, especially nudes. And look at what I paid. This one was only $12. I think one of these was only four. Three. I got this piece for $3. It's so beautiful. And then maybe this was the $4 one. $4. Isn't that amazing? It's $4, $3, $12. 
And then this large one I only paid $10 for. Amazing, amazing deal. There was an entire binder full of art and I always say, get down and start digging because you never know what you're gonna find. This one's really neat because I love the little close-up detail of her leg. I love these kind of studies. I have such an appreciation for fine art, but I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite type of art to find. Overall, I'm super excited about all of my finds from the Farm Hill Market Days event, and it was an absolute blast getting to catch up with everybody. I was able to chat with vendors that I had not seen in years. It's such a fun community here in Portland, all of us vintage resellers, and our paths don't always cross, so it's extra fun when they finally do again. Thank you for coming shopping with me at the Farm Hill Market Days Vintage Market, and I would love to hear what you think of my finds today. I'm pretty excited about all those beautiful rings and especially my Raymore Italian pottery. I will see all of you in the next adventure.